you're welcome to Daily Devotion on God's TV. Let's pray. Father, we ask that your word that is coming to us this morning will change us. We will be who you have called us to be. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today we are in Lesson 9. And today being Tuesday, the 27th day in the month of October 2020, we're observing the topic that says the file three the files others and i'll be reading from malachi chapter 2 from verse 1 to 9 i'll be picking the scriptures um randomly and i'll talk about them all right so and god says and now all you priests this commandment is for you if you will not hear and if you will not lay to heart to give glory unto my name says the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already, because you do not lay to heart. Now, why would God say to a priest, to his servants, that he is going to place a curse upon them? The reason is not far-fetched. It's because they have refused to lay the instructions of the Lord their God to her. And they would not even give glory to God. Now, what is that instruction? Um, God says to them that a priest, from verse 7 now, for the priest lives should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. But you have departed out of the way. You have caused many to stumble at the law. Now, that's a very critical point. God is saying to these people, Yes, I appointed you. I made you my servant. I made you someone or a group of people the congregation looks up to for direction. But it's obvious that you do not hold me in high esteem. And one thing the Lord is saying to all of us this morning from his word is that the true test of any relationship is in the place of honor. The, the honor we give to people, the honor we give to God in our lives and other people in our relationships is the test of such a relationship. Honor speaks volume about the value we place on relationship. Now, taking back into the spiritual sense, God is saying to his servants who are the priests that it is very clear, it is very obvious that you really do not lay my word to us. It is true, people look up to you, but you have become a stumbling block. You are now a rock of offense to them. Why? Because they have become so corrupt. They lack integrity and they are morally depraved. And God says, I am going to place a curse upon you because you do not lay my word to us. That is a point for all of us to reflect over. If you are listening to me and you are a minister, in one capacity or the other. I want you to know that God is interested in your conduct. Not just your conduct, he is interested in what goes on inside you. God is, a, is the God who rewards us, not because of what we do, but because of what runs through our heart. No wonder he said, men look at the outward appearance, but I am the God who sees the intents of the heart. Look at it today. A lot of ministers have lost the respect, the honor of their congregation because of the way they conduct themselves. One thing I know is this. You can, you can, you can pretend about a lot of things, but see, you can't pretend about your lifestyle for too long. And when people come near you, aside what you tell them on the pulpit, they, they, they get the vibes of your lifestyle from their daily interactions with you. And don't get it twisted. The congregants are a, a set of highly intelligent people. They can pick up your character flaws. They can pick up your weaknesses by just relating with you. I would like to say to you today, as a minister of the gospel, that you should not defile your congregation. Things have gotten so worse today that a lot of ministers, a lot of pastors, a lot of church leaders, they, they, they do horrible crimes. They, they commit very dastardly acts. And you begin to wonder, but ah, 
This man is a pastor. He's a man of God. Why is he like this? The reason is not far-fetched. A lot of people call themselves ministers of the gospel, but they have lost relationship with God. Will you not search yourself this morning? Are you still in that place of constant fellowship with God? You know, it is so bad now that some so-called ministers don't have senior pastors that they are responsible to. And you're wondering, you call yourself a man of God, but nobody can talk to you. Nobody can correct you. In fact, when a man of God gets to that level, his crash is inevitable. And you know, God's presence and power and auction have departed from them. Some of them have become experts in deceiving and defiling unsuspecting ladies in the church. That's, that's sad, you know. I mean, someone was sharing with me how that a particular pastor has turned his office um, to a mini hotel. That's where, that's where he does a lot of things with young ladies. And I'm like, it's obvious that he doesn't really know who called him. Because if you know who called you, you know who you are working for, you will not make him angry. Um, and therefore, I also have made you contemptible and base before all the people. Do you see that? God says that ministers who do not honor him, ministers who do not respect him, they will invariably lose the honor and respect of the people they think they are leading. And that is why... A lot of ministers today, they do a lot of crimes and they are covering their, their, their footprint. They are trying to cover up for their error because they know that if it goes out, if people know about what they are doing, that's the end of their ministry. And don't ever forget, ministry thrives on human opinion. You cannot run away from it. Ministry thrives on goodwill. Your ministry will thrive on the goodwill of the people that you're leading. I want to encourage you today to live for God. The point of emphasis says you have been chosen as a holy priest to show the world the glory and goodness of Christ. The Lord has chosen you. And the prayer point, we are going to pray that and ask God to purge his church and his people and deliver us from all the wolves in shepherd's clothing. And that's the word of God for us today. Ministers, please check yourself. I am grateful that you were able to join us. And we are so interested in your feedback. We would like to hear from you. We want to hear your testimonies. We want to listen to your questions. We want to get more feedback from you. So please feel free to call us on the numbers you're seeing on the screen right now. And do well to follow us on all our social media platforms. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.